Okay, quick Wednesday morning radar update. We have sound, we have vision. So, a little pop open this morning, just drifting back into the pivot. Yesterday's highs, there's an area on the DAX there. Um, yeah, pretty normal action, isn't it? Just note where the volume came in here. So, we've got a lot of stocks in the US screens this morning from last night's close. It's swing mageddon is what we what we usually say. That they are absolutely loaded. So, you know, take note of that. I've seen the market uh, you know, the top called in this move already this morning. Yeah, maybe. But um just uh, I tend to take note of what I see in the screens because they are the setups what people will get for the coming day. Um, let's just uh, quickly buzz through these. I tried to load the video on the YouTube yesterday and it, it wouldn't let me uh, load it. So while this is loading, just share Scott do an update. A horrific shark attack in Australia today. My mate who lives in Australia, who I used to work for over there, just sent me a video. I think it was a spear fisherman. Absolutely horrific shark attack. Doesn't happen very often that where the, the shark attacks to, to actually kill and not just to uh, taste. Okay. So, you know, we're still just in this channel. I know it's all doom and gloom. I, I'll, I'll say one thing. It wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me to see the top in the oil, oil move on, in the actual oil price on this, uh, the war story. Uh, just pretty normal action you know we, we're still holding those swing swing lows aren't we in the US let's just quickly go and have a look at oil as well because um, just just take note you know yes obviously it's only an area but let's just take note of the where the war story started to get traction and everyone wanted to be long oil stocks this day here so you know, take note of that. Story zone, maybe. Well, let's move on from there. Into the volume leaders. I'll just go straight in today. Let's see what's in there. It is... 10 past 11. We should have traded 37%. To be on average volume, not that much in there. A few investment trusts again. Uh, no oilers whatsoever. <laughs> Let's just buzz through these uh, investment trusts and see what's going on. Construction, fan sideways still in a base. I N D V. We saw this one last week. It's basically I N D V. I wouldn't say it's right up there on the GTRS. It's it's outside the top one hundred. Um, looks okay though. But you know these pharmaceuticals tend to trade really awfully. This one's quite orderly. It it was. As we know, it was high on the GTRS. I presume it's gone through the prelims now as well. Yeah, that's the prelims today. So you'd, you'd want to be looking what's what it's trading towards after those as well. Obviously, it looks fantastic. I don't know if that's in the guidance or in in the what you know the reassurance or the guidance. You know the the numbers it's about to post or looking forward into in into the the next year. Obviously, you have to sort of go and have a look at things like that. Obviously, because then it will change in the in the GTRS is what I'm trying to get across there. Going forward, as the as the uh, the new 
guidance trickles in. Into the small caps, 37% again. 37%. Yeah, hardly anything in the small caps. I thought there was quite a few in these this morning, but not seeing much. I'll just double check I've got that right. Oh, oh one second, one second. I ordered I the script wrong. Ordered the script wrong from yesterday. Yeah, we've got quite a few in there. We've got a few um, a few oilers in this one. The minnows is are the ones what we've you know we've noted as moving the, the blue sky stocks. S U R Prem. It you know it broke out a couple of weeks ago, didn't it? F E N. Did we expect anything? You know, I'll say it again, it'd be better if it based here, to be honest, but, you know, as we know, it's not really my sector, but this one's, uh, you know, got a reason for being up there. And well out of the base, as we know. Set the screens already, haven't we? Uh, this one, rear view for us, isn't it? It's a, you know, it ticks the POX S box, just meaning it, it doesn't tick the growth screen. And TM1, yeah, we spoke about that one already, haven't we? got nothing on it I've got absolutely nothing on it I you know there's no guidance in there so do your own research so that's what we see today um, we'll see how the US is going to open It's you know it's better when they open steadily rather than a big gap to be honest but uh, you know in my preference but we'll see you know if we can bumble around until the US open it, I think uh, I'd rather see the US try try to lead lead the market rather than the uh, the European markets. But we'll see. Okay, leave it there.